Hey guys, it's Saru, and you asked for it, so I'm making a straight to 65 leveling guide video here and showing some endgame information that you will need. So when you start at the game, you'll be in the tutorial island. My recommendation, and before I get really started here, please note that I am a server first player and I've leveled pretty fast to the point that people complain. So if you want to get to 65 fast, follow this guide to the letter. From level 1 to 22, do your storyline quests, which are the red ones. Easy. But no, once you get to level 11, you should be going to Velika, which will take you to Crescentia. From there, continue to do your red quest until you get to the end of the section, top right, where you are able to grind Devon Moss for extra EXP for your Vanguard request. Also, you'll have more chances to drop your Relic Weapon, so that's kinda nice. At level 20 to 24, you'll want to do your Bastion of Lock repeatedly. You can either queue for it by pressing Options and then go to Instance Matching and then go to it, or you can just go to the entrance located right here. It's pretty simple and hopefully that helps for you. From level 24 to 26, or maybe 27, depending on your luck, and also depending on if you're wearing Leap, which has boosts and stuff, and it's kind of like the premium service for the game, you'll want to do Kuma Royale. Win it. By all means, please win. When you win, you should have a major boost for 225 or 26. And if you want it as your daily, then you should go to Velika, turn in the green quest to this nice lady located here. Once again, you'll be level 26 or 27. From here, you'll want to do Sinestral Manor over and over until level 32. You can queue for it using the instant matching option, or if you have a full party already, just use your Vanguard request option. You can go to the Vanguard request to that specific location, press X on it, and it will give you the option to teleport for free with Square. From 32 to 38, you'll want to do Saravash's Ascent either as a party or do it solo. If you do it solo, just kill the beginning mobs, but honestly, you might as well just do it with a party over and over. It's easy and it'll go by faster. While waiting for Q, you might want to kill some mobs near Kant's Marikeen by Tulafan, just for some extra XP and Vanguard Request XP. From 38 to 42 or 43, you'll want to spam Cultist Refuge and maybe do your red quest near Sentia. I'm not a fan of the quest, so I would just recommend you doing the dungeon over and over, though other places on the internet will just tell you to kill the Desert Lightning Kumases near Orem Road, so it's up to you really. Either way, it's a grind. From 44 to 48, you'll want to spam Necromancer's Tomb, which should drop all of your avatar pieces anyway. And if you have Elite, all of this should go pretty quickly for you anyways. From 48 to 55, you want to do Golden Labyrinth. Now, I want to urge you to know that the fact that this dungeon will drive you insanely bored. So, alternate between this and Kuma Royale if you think you'll win Kumases. If not, just keep killing the dungeon over and over until you're 55. From 55 to 58, you want to do Solaren Sky Garden, which again, like previous dungeons, you can instance match or teleport there directly with your group with Square. From 58 to level 60, you want to do your Ebon Tower dungeons over and over, or alternate between the red storyline quest available. Personally, I would just do the tower if you have a pretty fast group anyways. From 60 to 65 is generally a grind and a half, so prepare 8 hours for pure torture because that's how long it took me to get from 60 to 65. 8 friggin' hours. So from 60 to 63, you want to do Sabix Armory. You'll also have this red quest to do the airship platform teleport scroll quest thingy. It's pretty easy, it's easy questing, and you'll get quite a bit of XP, but you can also do Kumas every 10 levels for a major boost anyways, so that's really up to RNG, and if you think you can win, do it. At 63 to 65, you'll want to do this red story quest while queuing up for Masolarius Catacombs. Might be said completely different, but that's how I think it's called anyways. Alternate between the two, and it'll give you quite a bit of XP. And by the time you're done, you should be 65. It'll take a bit of time, like I said, so there you go. Now you're 65. What do I do, Sara? Please tell me. I'm so lost. So go to your Vanguard Request tab, and at the location of the credits, click on Square. It's at the bottom left, so you should just click Square. And you'll teleport to High Watch itself for free. So a lot of people don't, don't have Elite, you should be able to just do this. But if you have Elite, just teleport there for free anyway. So Once you hit 65, you'll receive a quest to High Watch to get some gear from Dougal, I believe his name is. I don't even know anymore, there's just too many NPCs. He'll give you full Idonial gear, which is enough to get you started for some quests. You'll receive two separate quests. 
One is called Inconclusion, which will give you the full Idoneal, which is necklace, two earrings, and two rings. It'll want you to defeat people in Sabic's Armory, do MC one last time, and complete the storyline section with Rotos. Once you're done with that quest, the second quest is called Choose Your Fate, which is completing the previous quest, making sure that you have 20 Vanguard requests completely done, which is pretty simple if you've been doing your Vanguard quest, and if you're doing the dungeons anyways, you are doing these quests, so make sure you're completing them every time you're done. You'll have your weapon, chest, hands, and feet. Easy peasy. When you get your full Idoneal gear, you'll want to start doing Calvin's Challenge, Channel Works, and Democron Factory, as it'll give you your full slaughter gear. This will be your second stage into 65. You'll need to masterwork your slaughter gear, which I'll show you in a second, in order to hit item level 410 or higher. If you masterwork all of it and it's all gold, you should have 414 like I do. So make sure to enchant and masterwork your gear. So before getting into masterworking, you can get your 65 crystals, which if you've done your Vanguard quest, like I said previously, you can easily get them through the quest themselves. So you'll need to go to this merchant right here and purchase it. If you do the option I said before, which is go to your Vanguard request, bottom left, and then just press square, you'll teleport directly to this person anyways. There are different categories you can purchase from, and it all helps in the end, really. So if you go to the very bottom, you get your 65 crystals and all of the locations like weapon and armor. The other merchant next to this lady will allow you to buy glyphs and some special boxes for Masterwork Alcas, but honestly I wouldn't spend points on that. It really, you can get them from anywhere, you can get them from any loot box, but if you really don't want to grind for that, by all means, it's a thousand points every time, but it's whatever to me to be honest. So how do I Masterwork? So you'll need identification scrolls and masterwork enigmatic scrolls and please note that it is only a chance to masterwork. Go to your gear, press triangle, enchantment effect, reset, and start your engines. As you can see from my slippers, they won't enchant. It is said by legend that every gear has a different chance. So sometimes I know on the PC version, if you would not enchant your slippers or something, you would just throw them away and get new ones and apparently would have a different chance every time. Very weird, but might be this might be a thing I don't know so let's use my weapon instead you'll want to use your master scrolls and identification scrolls BAM master worked again it's all a chance which means now instead of being able to hit just a plus 9 you can hit up to plus 12 there is also awakened gear where you can go up to plus 15 but you don't really need to worry about that just yet and I'll make a video about that in the future now one last thing people want to know is how to max out their gear item specific item level Wow, that was a mouthful. So you'll want to know how to use it. First of all, I 100% recommend that you have your gear to plus 12 first, or else you will just be wasting your gear away. Trust me, and I've done it, so I know. So once you get to plus 12, you'll need all your stats to be gold. To do that, you need Spellbind, sometimes, unless you're really lucky. Then go to your gold effects you already have, and make sure you're already plus 12 masterworked. Or else, like I said, you're just wasting gold. And click on the lock button right next to it. This will make it so that the rest of the stats except that one that's locked to be re-rolled. When you get more gold stats, just lock those and voila. Once you're all full gold, your items level will be maxed out, which increases your overall item level anyways. So yeah, that's your leveling guide from level 1 to 65 and how to masterwork basically everything you need to know about the game so far. Ambush gear and behemoth gear really isn't needed right now for a guide, plus it's what, day 6 and I, <laughs> there's no way I could get that right now anyway. But I'll make one later to kind of show you guys how to make it and all that stuff. I hope that helped you guys and if you have any questions about the game make sure to put them in the comments below and I will help you. Also if you're in a Dracoloff server make sure to check out the description below to go into that discord server and if you're planning on going there well that's where I am and a couple other cool people are so that's kind of fancy. And as always till next time friends.